hi guys so welcome to my channel i have not done a video on youtube in years so this is pretty much for me my first one starting from scratch however i've been so unorganized with school the kids are starting school tomorrow and i'm only just finally sorting out all their stuff so this video is kind of going up maybe a bit late but i also only decided about two days ago that i was going to start up youtube again so bear with me i'm kind of a bit of an unorganized mess at the moment with everything going on in my life but we move so i've had so many people messaging me on instagram kind of asking me where i've got their things from what i've got so i thought i would do my first little vlog of all their school bits shoes accessories sort of little nice gestures that i'm doing for them because they're starting school for the first time tomorrow i cannot believe it um tomorrow is just an hour um kind of like settling in their first full day is on wednesday so i still have time to kind of label all their stuff sort everything out but let's show you what i got so let's start with where i got their uniform from so obviously things like anything that has their logo on their jumpers cardigans polo tops um i obviously won't be showing that but i got it just from the standard uniform shop however this is going to differ for schools and how their uniform is set and how strict they are but with ivy what i managed to get away with is whatever you can avoid not getting from the uniform shop and go to other places like matalan tesco's MS, george better because it's cheaper so with blake he has to wear a white polo top with his logo and a jumper with his logo so that i had to get from the uniform shop trousers i didn't have to they just had to be navy i literally looked everywhere now the thing is with boys especially four years old going into school i don't know about yours but blake is not really able to undo and do up a button or that kind of clasp so I've been trying to find either pull-up trousers or ones that are relatively stretchy that he can just pull up and down himself. So the best ones I found are the ones from m &S. They come in a two-pack slim leg trousers and they also have adjustable like, buttons inside. So they're super stretchy. He doesn't need to undo them. He can literally slip them on and off. They are a bit more expensive than maybe the ones in Matalan and George, they are £11 for a two pack. To be honest, sometimes I think better going slightly more expensive and I reckon that they're probably gonna last longer and be better quality. So I've gone for m &S for the trousers for Blake. Then I also went m &S for his socks, easy. Shorts are yet to ha have arrived. This is how unorganized I am, but never mind. PE, they just need navy tracksuit bottoms, so I didn't get them from the school shop, I just got from H&M. And then, that is all I can show you for Blake, because the rest is logoed. Ivy. Now, when she wears her pinafore with her white polo, the pinafore covers the logo, so if you're clever about it, and that's what they wear for your school, I didn't have to buy the expensive polo tops with the logo for Ivy. I actually went to m and look how gorgeous these are if you can see they've got like the scalloped edging which i think is so pretty so these are m&s so i've got these for ivy and then again i went to m&s for the pinafore go for a zip zip is obviously the easiest for them to do themselves and it's very sweet it's got a little heart so this is her little pinafore dress. I haven't yet decided whether I'm sending them in summer or winter. But I want to send them together in the same. So it depends if the shorts arrive. Little frilly socks from m and for Ivy. And again, the summer dress, m and I just love the detail on the collar with the little heart zip. So if I send her in summer, then she will wear that with the socks. And that is it in regards to their clothes. Shoes, I really struggled with Blake. I wanted him to wear kickers, but it's really funny with um, labels and stitching inside the shoe. So I was able to get him to wear these. These are from Clark's. I'm gonna link all of this. But what is good is they're, they're quite um, 
stretchy. He's got quite wide feet. So there's laces at the bottom that obviously he doesn't need to do and it's just the Velcro. Always stick with Velcro so they can do it themselves. These for Ivy are so gorgeous. They're from Next. So they've got the little painted bow, the little heart buckle, but it's Velcro. So for ease, they are great. So they're their shoes. They've been wearing them in at the moment just so I don't have any nightmares on the day saying that they're uncomfortable. Bottles, I just got from Amazon. They have to take a water bottle each. So I thought they were cute. So the other day we went to Legoland and I hadn't got their snack boxes yet. They don't need lunch boxes as they're gonna have hot um, lunches at school. But they needed snack boxes with labels and I saw these at the Lego shop. They were only five pound each and I got them personalized, which I thought was really cute. The only thing that is a bit annoying about these, the way that they personalize them, they're now not dishwasher safe. So I don't know how long I'm gonna be patient with these for, but I still thought that these were really cute and they love them. So they are their snack boxes, labels. So I've got two different types of labels. So from Stamptastic, if you can see, they've got a stamp each. Actually, it's easier to do it this way. Can you see it? Hold on. So I've got Ivy with a little unicorn and Blake with a little dinosaur. So I'm gonna stamp all their stuff on their labels. However, I have also got some labels for their bottles, their pencil cases, um, from Stickettes, but they haven't arrived yet, so I'm hoping that they will arrive before their first full day on Wednesday, so I can show you them another time. Um, now, other bits I'm showing you are more just sentimental things, because that is my style, and people seem to like these things. So, first of all, I got these two books, which I have been recommended, and they are loving them. I've been reading these before bed, because Ivy, in particular, is saying that she's quite nervous about starting school. So this is the the Colour Monster, I, can't, I don't say that right, Colour Monster, goes to school. This is their favourite, been reading it every night, it's really cute, it's on Amazon. And then I also got Topsy and Tim start school because they're twins and I just thought that was quite sweet as well. So I think it's nice just to get some literature or something for them to read, to kind of ease their nerves before school. And this is my favourite. So... They're a bit dusty. I got these for them from Amazon. I'm gonna link them. So this is Ivy's first day of school and Blake's first day of school. Also got last day. I'm not even thinking about that in the moment. And then what's really sweet is I've got some chalk markers. We're gonna write this out together. And it's just a really lovely photo opportunity. You can rub the chalk off afterwards. So you can use these every year. So they're not even that expensive. I think off the top of my head, may have been like £12 each, but you can use them like all the time because you can just rub it off. So I thought that these were just really, really lovely little sentimental things to have. Um, and I think that's it. I have also bought them a little calendar that I've put up in our kitchen, just kind of, um, more so because we're gonna be in like a proper structure now, school every day, weekend. I'm gonna write like our afternoon plans after school on there and any weekend plans, just so they can kind of see visually what we're doing when they've got school, how many sleeps until the weekend, things like that, just to kind of get them a bit more familiar with the actual days of the week and the months of the year. I also asked some people their advice as to what I could do or say because Ivy's feeling very nervous and something that I had to share with you guys that I think is the sweetest thing and I'm gonna be doing it for both of them because I'm obviously not gonna do it for one and not the other. Some people have called it like the um, like love button or heart button. Anyway, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be getting a pen and drawing a heart somewhere on their wrist and on mine and I'm gonna show it to them and whenever they're feeling scared or sad or miss me, if they just press on it, I'll explain to them that I'll be able to feel it and then I'll be sending them a hug and so many people have said to me that it works so nicely. It's just quite, um, I, I actually think it's the cutest thing. Like when I first read it, I was like, oh my God, that could make me cry. Some people also suggested um, like little crystals, let them have one and keep hold of it and it's like a little good luck charm. But I'm gonna definitely do the heart on their wrist. I think it's so sweet. 
um, and that was probably the majority of what people messaged me when I explained that Ivy was feeling nervous. That's pretty much everything um, that I wanted to show you guys. I'm feeling a bit more organised now, well so I should be considering they're starting school tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you all this, sorry it's probably a bit late, may not be that helpful for those whose kids are actually already starting school this year, but um, yeah, I think it would be useful for those that are starting school next year, or maybe those that are just as um, behind as I am. So. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you click and subscribe and I'm going to be doing so many more videos. Um, like, comment and I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch up with you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.